Hey guys and gals, I can't tell you how many times I've been scrolling on my phone looking for a new game, a new MMORPG or RPG that I could play on my phone. And the best part is V4 is that and can also be played on PC. This video is sponsored by Nexon. Thank you. It's fully cross-platform, so you can take your character and play it across both devices. It'll just log you out from your previous device when you log on to the new one. So it's a very seamless experience, and it gives everyone that little bit of pocket MMORPG experience when you're on your mobile, when you're traveling to work, on the bus, or on the train, or in a plane. So you can take your MMORPG experience with you. My first impression when playing V4 is that the graphics look really nice. This is V4 on PC and I've got all the graphics ramped up to the maximum and it just looks really pleasing the world. There's a lot of different variety in the environment and the characters and the character creation already starts to give a very nice feeling when you start playing V4. Considering V4 is free to play, you get a whole lot of content and gameplay with storylines, voice acting and so on for free. And you can always check out to see if the game is to your liking before making a decision if you're going to be playing this a lot or a little. Simply click on the link below the video player in the description to give it a try for free and you can see if V4 can be your companion on your journeys and playing it at home as well. What follows in the rest of this video is showing you a few different parts about the game, some of the unique points of V4, the equipment system, the questing system and of course character creation and a nice boss battle as well. So let's jump into the combat system. You've got your spacebar is attack, one is your first ability, two is your second ability and three is your third ability. Spells of course consume mana points which you can drink mana potions for. You can use your mouse to uh, change the vantage point uh, of what you are going to be looking at. You're moving around with WASD. And on mobile, of course, you're just going to be using your fingers if you have them. Otherwise, toes will probably uh, function as well, or indeed any body part that can activate the phone uh, touchscreen. I have played this on iPhone 8 and I found it to be a very seamless experience as well. So let's take care of these mukas and then we can get our quest completed and move on in the world. One of the things I really like is that when you go through your equipment and you wear different pieces, it really changes how your character looks like as well. When I equip this stuff, it looks significantly different. Body armor, and this of course is the plain look. You wear a body armor, it matches that look as well. So you're going to look very different throughout the game and it is very accurate to the icon, well, to how the icon looks like actually of the equipments that you get. All throughout this, and this is something I find really important, the background music, the OST is very chill and comforting. Uh, it gives me a very zen feeling. I really like the, the tracks that they have here. I've been listening to some of them on YouTube as well on the official V4 channel. And yeah, I just like it. It makes me feel good while playing V4. All the quests you get in this MMORPG are accompanied with some light-hearted voice acting that while they aren't completely realistic, they provide a nice light-hearted uh, yeah, narrative as you quest throughout this game. I'd like to also make a note about auto-questing, auto-gathering, auto-equipping and auto-drinking potions. I understand not everyone may be a fan of this, but at the end of the day, even Diablo 2 had botters who ran their character all night long doing Mephisto runs looking for a magic find. Many players end up finding a way to automate the grind of an MMORPG, even as the grind is the interesting part for other players. So I really feel like it's a different of playing styles and preferences. With a lot of people automating that, even if botting essentially in those games wasn't necessarily allowed, uh, it kind of levels the playing field for everyone. So you can still be playing an MMORPG, even if you're quite busy with something else as well. But you can always take the forefront and manually control battles to do better than the AI. And you can have that real life, well, that real life uh, experience playing boss battles alongside other people or even delve into the pvp of uh, v4 
and it doesn't take away the fun of playing out battles by yourself when you feel ready and you've leveled and geared up enough to take on the next challenge travel to lunatra a cross server experience joining up multiple servers for a massive open world bonanza or you can approach a giant boss battle together with up to 300 other players. Depending on the strength of your character, you may choose to go to different places. The Madding Forest, the Cursed Plains, the Anguished Forest, the Hollow Desert. And you keep in unlocking more different areas to go to as your progressive character strength goes up ever onwards. Once you reach those areas, you'll be joining up with hundreds of other players to tackle giant boss battles for extra rewards and extra fun, doing it all together. The Frenzied Bakhtar is a, is a boss that cannot be taken out by just four players. Even though we're kind of overleveled for this instance, having borrowed some high level accounts, the four of us are unable to beat through its uh, six health bars, as you can see. Uh, up there but with multiple people it's gonna be a fun multi many people experience where you try to tackle the boss together for those extra rewards all right guys you've already seen me do some gameplay with my Kui here I've also made another character Darbato they are an enchantress and a slayer respectively the two classes that appeal to me the most together with the warlord who can go swinging with some hammers uh, so let's actually go and make a character together. I'll show you which classes there are. You can see if there's any class that you like the most above all. So you've got the Enchantress. It's your archetypical mage that will use magic to do explosive burst attacks and so on and so forth. So the Enchantress. Um, note that every character can be customized a lot in their appearance with many different details. We'll jump right into that uh, very soon. They've got the Warlord who uses Blunt Force Trauma, presumably to the opponent's heads. Uh, so you've got the Warlord that is a de you're very armored uh, in your face, kind of loud noises, loud battle effects kind of character. You've got the Slayer, Swift, with uh, a dual wield of uh, two different kinds of weapons. And then uh, you've got the Knight with the shield and sword. You've got the Gunslinger, so there's your character with guns. That's your ranged DPS. And then you've got the Boom Blade, the kind of gnomish type of stature with uh, an axe that is also a gun. So uh, let's go ahead and make a Knight character right now. And we can go about the uh, customization of the appearance as well. This is of course a, a high-end armor that you see her wearing here. If you actually finalize your character, uh, well, she's gonna look a lot more in plains clothing. But anyway, you can start you can start to customize a lot of different things, such as the hair, the body, and so on and so forth. So you can also start with uh, some kind of custom pre-mates to give you an idea of the various customizations that are possible. You can go with the look that you like. So let's uh, let's take this as a starting mold and jump into some customizations. What kind of face type? And it looks like this is like the Asian face type and this is more the Caucasian uh, face type. So uh, let's go with the Caucasian. Got different hairstyles. And you've got different hair colors as well. Let's go with uh, green hair. Go with green hair and then the style. She's a knight, so I should go for something practical. So the hairstyle, what would be a practical hairstyle for a knight? Probably not a braid that can get stuck. It's got to necessarily probably be quite a, a short, a short crop, either in a top band. You don't want to go with the long hairstyles, not as a knight, I don't feel like. The banks at the side are kind of cute. I do like that kind of look quite a lot. Uh, short is a nice look, but I also think that it could get in the way while you're fighting. So most likely a top bun is the most suitable for uh, fighting. You can choose how you can add like a sheen, a gloss to the green hair as well. And so kind of red gloss. You can choose how much does their shine. Well, not much at all, I don't think. Eyebrow color. You could go with a, an old mismatch. 
keep it in the family both green or have a more neutral eyebrow color as well. Makes it obvious that she dyed her hair, but maybe that's okay. Green is not such a naturally occurring color anyway. I'll go with the skin color. I'll go with this one. This one looks nice. How much shine? <laughs> do you want do you want Madame Tussauds Barbie girl uh, type of shine hello I am Norma how are you uh, or go with the more matte and natural look I'll go with the natural look uh, pupil size giant tiny I kind of like the small pupil size eye color can go with green as well which is probably why she chose to dye her hair in that color as well Lips go with a bit darker color. I do like red. Make make the shine a bit more. Um, yeah, red is nice. And go to the uh, face where there's actually a lot of customization. Cheek position, so it either moves it higher cheekbones or lower. I've got pretty high myself. I put it higher. Width. I like wide cheeks. Cheek depth. I didn't see much change. We'll go with the front jaw height, lower chin, higher chin, the width, go with this one, this, back jaw width, very wide cheeks, very narrow, I like a bit wider, eyebrows, eyebrow height, ah, wow, that makes a really big difference to the general appearance of the face, I like both, it's different. I'm gonna go with the high one this time. Eyebrow length. Longer ones. Thickness, very thick. Very thin. I'll go with the thick one. Rotation. <laughs> Sad eyebrows. Sad questing puppy. Uh, puppy <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> kind of wicked. You want to go with the wicked eyebrows. Or I don't know what's going on. Or I'm kind of wicked. Uh, we'll go with the uh, innocent eyebrows. Eyebrow spacing closer together. Looks a bit confused. A bit wider. Pleading. Eye size. Small, big. Do like the bigger eyes. Not Moana eye size. And frozen, but still nice and big. Low, high. Wow, that makes a really big difference too. Okay, eye position quite high. Width, that's too wide. Spacing. This is nice. I'm satisfied with that. Nose height. Uh, I don't, oh wow, I see almost no change, but it is there a bit. Overall nose size, leaning towards petite. Surprise, I suppose. Nose width, nose position, tip height. Oh yeah, wow. Wow, that's that's kind of exotic. Hmm. This is pretty exotic. It changes the whole look. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that and just a little bit less. Interesting. Mouth. Well, that's that's me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well, I wouldn't choose for it. It just happens, man. Lip width. Smile. Lip size. Too much. Just right. Upper lip thickness. Mm, nice. Wow. The character has changed a lot in look so far from when I began. I don't know if I've only done better. Uh, <laughs> I guess... Uh, I guess... Uh, I guess you will be very likely to create your exact unique character, which I always think is nice in games like this, that there's no one character out there. Even with tens of thousands of players, there won't be one that looks exactly like yours, I don't think. Upper body, we've got the upper arm thickness. She is a warrior, so it should be rather thick. I don't see that much. Oh yeah, I see it now. Under the pauldrons, right next to the... Yes, under the pauldrons. Strong arms required for a warrior. Lower arm as well. I'm just going to go to the max. Uh, chest size should be fairly large as well. I think it's important 
in order to be able to take hits and dish them out as well with that body strength and then the of course mm, yes well practical maybe no depending if you want to make little knights or not uh yeah yeah i think i like to think of myself as modest so moving on hip size mm -hmm. hip size yes okay okay yeah let's let's remain uh, very modest with that as well waist size should not be too much out of proportion thigh thickness important when designing your warrior character as well calf thickness let's take a look at that calf should be quite strong to remain quick on our feet with explosive power and finally uh, foot size yeah i think that's it we've got our character all that remains is to name her um yes emer emer um mar maran mirren mirren there we go we have created mirren mirren is ready to jump into combat and follow your every order mirren let's go into the world of v4 all right you've seen my character now it's time to make yours download v4 for free via clicking the link in the description below the video player and venture into the world of v4 thanks for watching and have fun